Hey everybody, sorry for the couple days of missing out. I was uh, you know busy with uh, the new school year and such. So uh, with that being said, Medieval Explorers. In the Middle Ages, many bold men made long and often dangerous journeys to distant lands. These new contacts improved trade and spread political influence. The first medieval explorers were the Vikings, who went as far as America, Morocco, and Baghdad. The first account of Central Asia was written by Fred, the Franciscan friar John of Beyond the Carpine, who visited the Mongol Khan on behalf of Pope Innocent IV in 1245. The best known European traveler was Marco Polo, a young Venetian who traveled to meet the Kublai Khan in China and remained there for many years. Returning in 1295, he composed a vivid account of his travels. Between 1325 and 1350, Ibn Battuta, a Moroccan lawyer, traveled to Russia, Central Asia, Indian, Southern China, Africa, and wrote detailed descriptions of his travels. Admiral Cheng, he was sent by the Chinese Ming Emperor Yongle on seven naval expeditions between 1405 and 1433. His fleet sailed to Indonesia, India, Persia, Mecca, East Africa, and established diplomatic relations extending China's political influence over maritime Asia. Cheng, he took back his gifts to the emperor, including spices and exotic animals. Prince Henry the Navigator Henry was born the son of the King of Portugal, and at the age of 21 he discovered the treasures of Morocco that had been carried over land from Songhai and Senegal in West Africa. He was curious to know if these places could be reached by sea, so after about 1420, Henry paid Portuguese sailors to explore the coast of Africa. Encouraged by their discoveries, he built a school of navigation at Sangres in Portugal to train sailors for future voyages of discovery. By the time Prince Henry died in 1460, Portuguese explorers had ex reached what is now Sierra Leone. Henry's work inspired later Portuguese explorers to sail farther down the coast of West Africa, seeking a sea route to India and the Far East. The world was now on the verge of a great expansion of international contact. The Chinese could have been the first international travelers, but its emperors preferred isolation, and traders were discouraged from traveling. Muslims had also traveled far and wide, though by 1500 they had lost their urge to expand further. Meanwhile, the Europeans are about to change their inward-looking policies and seek new horizons.